Hi guys, this is Jerry with yet another video. In this video, I'll give you some tips on how to um, fix this kernel power critical error. So recently I was having the same issue and I was just wondering what went wrong with my new PC. All of a sudden this happens. PC is not stable, especially while gaming or running some powerful uh, software that need lots of resources like memory, graphics card and CPU. But then I was just wondering what was wrong with my PC. So first of all, I'll give you some tips uh, that you could try software level fixes. Okay, then I'll give you some ideas on uh, narrowing things down by running some tools to test your components. So first thing first, what you needed to do is just go to power settings. then change the power settings here turn turn off the display and put the computer to sleep both set to never then change the advanced power settings and on the hard disk option you see here on the hard disk option set it to uh, never or zero then set it to zero then click here then that will uh, turn to never then scroll all the way down and here processor if your PC is desktop you can actually set it to uh, maximum processor state to 100, minimum processor state to 95 percentage or 100. It doesn't make any big difference. If you set it to 100 percentage, it will always utilize maximum power and run at its best. So it's better to set it to 95 percentage, that's fine. And if you set it to 100 percentage, there's no big issue. Then apply and save it. Then restart your computer and run the application that caused the problem then see if it's still happening so if it's still happening then go back choose what the power buttons do by default on windows it's actually uh, fast startup is turn on so what you need to do, do is just change it click change and uncheck this uh, checkbox and click save and this could actually fix the problem normally it shouldn't cause the problem sometimes it happens with some pcs so you can try disabling this and restart your PC and try running the application that actually caused the problem. So uh, change the power plans, you know, like uh, now here I have AMD Ryzen Balanced and AMD Ryzen High Performance. As my PC is desktop, I set it to Ryzen High Performance and uh, my PC and PSU, I mean my power supply unit is capable of running at, you know, delivering enough voltage to the motherboard and my enter PC is powerful enough to run it high performance so I have set it to high performance but if you are having issues with your laptop maybe you should set it to uh, AMD if you're running AMD uh, system so maybe you should set it to AMD Ryzen balanced or you can actually change the plan settings here just click this and you can use any of these like power saver ultimate performance or balance if you're having issues with the laptop, maybe try balanced power settings, then this could also fix the issue. The next thing you should try is updating your drivers. So if you have recently updated your graphics driver and you're having this issue, maybe you should roll back. In that case, just type in device manager. And here you can see all the devices and drivers. So in this case, if you have recently, you know, updated your graphics driver, and click this display adapter and just right click on the driver and uh, click properties and switch to the driver and you should see your rollback driver try uh, going back to your previous driver this could actually fix if you recently updated your driver you should see this rollback driver and if you don't see that you should go to your manufacturer websites and download the previous driver and try uh, running the software that was causing the issue so then or if you haven't yet updated your driver maybe you should check update driver you can actually click this update driver and it will check for the latest version and if you have if you are running rtx or md discrete graphics card you should have software utility that actually help you download the latest driver like in my case in nvidia geforce experience it actually find you the latest version of the driver that you can actually download from the software to your PC and install it. So that's how you do that. So next what you needed to do is type dxdab and launch it. 
So it actually checked for some driver or graphics driver issues with your PC. So if it finds any problem, it'll actually indicate about it. So it, you can here see that display, no problems found. You can actually run this next page like this, click next page, next page. So if it finds any problem with your PC related to, you know, especially with your graphics card and or other audio drivers, so it'll be uh, shown here. So, so far there's no problem uh, with my PC, okay? So just click X. If you don't find any problem here, then click X. And if you find any drivers on the device manager with yellow or red mark, maybe you should uh, try updating or removing the driver and restart your PC and run the software that was causing the problem. You can also diagnose this, uh, your memory dump file that's uh, dropped when you have this kernel power issue. To access that, you can go to the local C drive and Windows and uh, scroll all the way down, you see this memory DMP file. Uh, you can't actually open this file uh, without a small piece of software that actually analyzes this memory dump file. There is also another dump file called mini dump. It's in this mini dump folder here. You won't have access to this folder. It will ask you for permission. Just going to click continue, then you can access this folder. And, the, and for these two dump files, you need a small application called WinDBG that you can actually download from Windows Store. WinDBG. So this is the software that you need to download. Once you download and install the software, it will actually find the dump file. So here, if you try to run this, you won't be able to run it from the C drive. You need, so in that case, you need to move this dump file to some other folder, like uh, mini dump file or this memory dump. Move it to some other folder and, and here I have so many dump files I have copied from the C drive. Just double tap that dump file, then you'll, it, it'll start running, it'll take a few minutes so let it run then you have this analyze option just click that and it'll start analyzing the dump file whether it is memory dot uh, memory dump or the mini dump so it'll give you some idea about what was running in the memory at the same uh, at the time of this sudden shutdown sudden system failure so you can actually go on based on this you know analysis you get on this application so for example just click here and you will get the details of that particular program that was running in the background okay so in my case mostly i got something related to graphics card so i actually tested my graphics card with uh, some other tools then finally found out it was graphics card overheating that actually caused this sudden system failure. Even for this GPU overheating problem, some people actually suggest uh, swapping your PSU. Don't do that, guys. Try your best to analyze the problem before you actually swap your current uh, PSU or memory or even graphics card uh, with a new one. Don't do it, just analyze your best. So, so you can, however, you can actually use this tool to analyze and it'll give you some idea what was causing the problem, like the name of the driver, name of the application that was running in the memory and uh, at the time of the sudden uh, shutdown. If you don't understand anything about this dump, uh, you know, dump file, in the dump file, what you needed to do is just go to Microsoft forum and share this dump file with someone else and they will actually analyze and tell you what was causing the problem, okay? Sometimes it could show like something like HID, you know, human interface device. Actually, this analysis doesn't necessarily mean this, this particular driver actually caused a problem. It gives you some idea what was going on in memory, that's it. So sometimes if you get the same uh, driver over and over in the dump file, then in that case, maybe you should try updating your driver, okay? Or if you get some graphics driver, in the analysis in that case maybe you should reset your graphics card or you should try uh, rolling back the graphics card driver or updating your driver like that if you have lightest bios motherboard manufacturer 
has the latest BIOS on their website, maybe you should download the latest BIOS and try updating your BIOS. So sometimes some BIOS could be causing this problem, this kernel power issues. In that case, you should try updating your BIOS. And if you think that it has something to do with your hardware, maybe you should start analyzing your hardware. There are some tools that you can use to analyze your hardware. So I'll tell, I'll actually talk about these tools first. So if you first want to analyze your CPU, like for example, for overheating or some other random issues, maybe you should try software called OCCT. So I have this software here, this software, this piece of software, okay? I have put the link in the description. You can actually download this software from there. Then run OCCT. So you don't necessarily need to install this software. You can just run the software right uh, after you download it. Yeah, there is two options. The test will run until cancelled or something like, you know, 30 minutes or one hour. The software actually pushes your CPU to its max. Like your CPU will be 100% at, uh, you know, as long as the software runs. So you may not be able to run any other software sometimes along with this application. Or you can just run this like, you know, the test will run until it's cancelled. Just choose any of these options then click then run then it will it, start running you can just set it over there and if you look at the CPU usage you can see that it's 100 percentage and you can analyze it here as well now here CPU is 100 percentage you don't need any other software to see that now CPU is 100 percentage and graphics card is 51 59 percentage GPU you can actually see everything here so what's going on with your PC and if you have some tools like this you can analyze the CPU temperature and you know the load and clock speed and everything here and the fan speed as well and feel like you know something is wrong with the fan speed or something maybe you should adjust the fan speed or set it to auto on bio settings so if you go to the GPU section, you can see the load and the clock speed and fan speed, etc. So it mainly analyzes your CPU. Okay, so let it run like for an hour and your PC doesn't still shut down. It means that there is no problem with your CPU. Believe me, the software is enough to analyze your CPU. So that's it. So let's stop it. Then up next is memory diagnostic tool so what you needed to do is just type in memory diagnostic run this so restart now and check for problem then it'll start it will actually restart your pc and start diagnosing your memory for some errors so if it finds some error maybe you should try uh, if you have multiple rams you should try loading your pc with a uh, single stick so change each stick each and every time you load and try the software you are having problem with you know try loading the software uh, that caused this sudden shutdown with a single stick if you have multiple RAM and if you want to further diagnose your memory you can actually uh, use a tool called memtest so this is a third party software 86 so this is the software you need to write this program to your you know USB drive it's pretty straightforward once download double click and select the drive that you want to write this software to once uh, it's done you can actually restart your uh, PC then access the boot menu and boot from your USB uh, USB stick then everything else is pretty straightforward just run the memory test you know mem test then it'll take like four has test it will sometimes based on the number of sticks it, it could take like you know four to six hours sometimes so let it run so if it actually finds any problem errors it'll show you uh, something in uh, red so if you're having any if you if it actually finds some problem with your memory stick just like i told you before just try loading your pc with a single stick and each single stick sometimes you know and also run the software that was causing the problem up next is heaven's benchmark so with the heaven's benchmark we are going to analyze 
our GPUs and especially if you have discrete graphics card maybe your GPU is overheating so in that case what you needed to do is download Heavens Benchmark I have put the link in the description for Heavens Benchmark it's an awesome uh, tool that actually benchmarks your uh, graphics card so I have it downloaded here so launch it and set everything to its extreme then run it so right now it's 900 resolution and you can actually change the resolution to its max like even 1440p even if your pc you know monitor is 1080p you can still run it at 1440 set it to 1440p and if you tried all these settings and if you tried all these tips and you are here and you try this software to its max settings then suddenly if your pc shuts down as it as the software actually runs it means that there is some problem with your graphics card or your PSU so it mostly has to do with the graphics card overheating so in that case what you needed to do is you need to make sure you actually uh, your uh, graphics card fan is uh, adjusted uh, according to you according to the temperature okay so sometimes you may not be running some software like MSA Afterburner in the background, especially if you uh, if you have an MSI graphics card. So you should be running those this software in the background because this software actually controls the fan speed by default. So uh, if you have it installed on your PC, you must run it at Windows Toto. And if it's still causing the problem, maybe you should adjust the fan speed on the MSI Afterburner. And if you are running some other brand, you know, if you have, uh, if, if your graphics card is from other uh, other manufacturer, maybe you should download their software, but you can still download this MSI Afterburner and uh, you can use this software to overclock, you know, control fan speed. So to test this, what you needed to do is just uh, change the resolution uh, and click OK, then you start running at 1080p. So at this time you can see that if you look at the uh, GPU stats it's at 98 percentage load or almost 100 percentage and the right now the temperature is 67 degrees Celsius so what you needed to do is make sure your GPU is always under 70 or 75 degrees Celsius don't let it go beyond 75 degree, degrees Celsius so to adjust this, you can actually download this MSI Afterburner. If it's actually going beyond uh, 70 degrees Celsius, maybe you should uh, adjust the fan speed. So run this software for like 15 or 20 minutes, then all of a sudden your PC crashes. It means there is some problem with your GPU. So in my case, GPU was causing problem. GPU was overheating because this software called MSI Afterburner I installed on my PC was not running in the background. I had disabled it. From opening at the Windows Toto so I forgot the fact that it was disabled so just let it run like for 15 or 10 minutes and if it's still not crashing just change the resolution to 1440p and let it run and see what's happening it's still running and uh, the load is at 93 98 100% load and it's still under set, uh, 70 degrees Celsius so you can actually use this to benchmark your graphics card and test your push your graphics card to its limit it mainly utilizes the graphics card not your CPU you can here see that CPU is still at 20 percentage so if you want to test your CPU use the OCCD and run the software like for an upper and you can test the CPU so that's it and it, you know as I told you if your PC shuts down as you run this software then you're gonna try adjusting the fan speed of your graphics card or reseating your graphics card uh, making sure uh, your power cable is widely connected and just if you think that there is problem with the power cable just remove it and reconnect it and make sure everything is fine try reloading your PC and the software that was causing the problem and let it run for like 15 or uh, half an hour and what if uh, your PC is shutting down because your graphics card is overheating? In that case, you need to download a software called MSI Afterburner. So I have this software here. Just I have this application here. This is the application. Uh, 
So here you have several options like you can actually use this application to overclock and you can also use this application to control the fan speed and you can also use this application to on screen display to see the stats of your uh, components. So here I'm going to talk about fan speed. So by default it's set to auto and you now like this is by default it's set to auto okay just auto that's it so this software actually automatically adjusts the speed of your fan based on the temperature so that's how it works but my address is set it to uh, user defined uh, speed so to do that just set it to auto at the same time click this gear icon then set it to user defined so you can actually adjust the speed of your uh, graphics card fan to do that just click uh, this gear icon then switch it to fan and here you have this option just uh, check this checkbox enable user defined software automatic fan control and here you can use this curve editor to uh, adjust the fan speed in my case I have set it to like you know at 75 degrees Celsius the fan speed will be at 90 percentage in this case even if you overclock your gpu the your gpu will still be under 70 degrees celsius just like you saw that when i was running heaven's benchmark the it was on 100 percent load and uh, gpu was still under 70 degrees celsius uh, at 90 degrees celsius the the, the gpu fan will be at 100 percentage so you can actually make a curve like this so it'll actually make sure the gpu uh, stays as cool as possible then once you set it just click apply then click ok so that's how you do that worry about it then then click ok then after you set it just click apply that's it so from now on your fan speed speed will be adjusted based on the temperature as well as uh, the curve that you defined in the uh, settings so make sure you enable this option as well to enable that just this is the user defined option just this disable now enable it that's how you do that and at the same time make sure it's set it to auto otherwise it will always run at 80 percentage or 90 percentage that shouldn't be the case okay then click apply so in most cases it should fix your problem and at the same time make sure this software actually runs at windows startup to do that just click settings and here you can see that start with the windows check this checkbox and start minimize so it will start minimized and whenever you adjust some settings and stuff you just automatically click this x mark right don't do that if you click that close button it will completely close it won't be running in the background just click this minimize button so it will uh, stay in the tray so you see here so that's how you do that so and if you still have problem maybe you should try uh, changing your power supply unit maybe it has to do with your power supply unit in that case make sure everything is its uh, cables are connected properly and restart your uh, PC and try launching the application that was causing this kernel power sudden crash then if you're still causing the problem maybe try swapping the PSU and try launching uh, the application that caused the sudden uh, system failure so these are the some tips I wanted to share with you I hope this actually helps and sometimes you know even reseeding uh, GP or reseeding your CPU fan could actually fix this problem but however to narrow things down you need to try all these uh, tips before you go ahead and swap or change your PS your motherboard or CPU uh, you, you don't need to shell out extra bucks and get a new memory or CPU to get the shit fixed right so try all these tips you will definitely find the solution for your problem so I hope this helps. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.